morning. I'm gonna do a cold start here of this uh, little relic here. This is a uh, 1994 uh, Mantis two cycle or two stroke, whatever it is. You know, you mix the oil. And uh, sorry for no videos lately. I've just been real busy. Um, now this thing is basically a weed eater motor on a tilling shaft. I guess you could say, I'm not going to say weed eater brand. It, you know, McCulloch, you know, Ryobi, whatever. But uh, this thing has not ran absolute, it ran absolutely horrible. We gave up on it. And it's just sickening because it's the worst thing I've ever had to mess with. And give me a, rate this, I'll tell you what. This thing is a, it, this thing is absolutely amazing. Me and my dad did some reading up on it, and we figured out how to adjust it. And believe it or not, those tines down there are not supposed to turn when you start it up. No duh, of course, but it never did. It always ran like a bad crap. It idled, it smoked, and it stalled, and it overheated. But I want, this is going to be a cold start. It hasn't ran since yesterday, and it's just ran absolutely amazing since we figured out how to adjust it. Not sure how we did it, really. I can't remember. But I was just the one operating up there because uh, my dad was the one with the screwdriver. But if you want to, look it up on Google. Maybe I'll ask him what the link was. So if you guys have one of these, maybe I can tell you how to adjust it later. So here we go. Now with it running good, okay, only give it two primes. Two primes. And if you want, you can hold down the trigger a little bit, you know, like that. If not, just don't worry about it. So, here's what I'm going to do. I hope you guys see it. Right here's the primer. I gave it two primes. Pull the choke out halfway. Turn the ignition on. See what happens. Now that is amazing, and I haven't even done nothing with it, so I'll start it back up and show you that it idles, and I didn't kill it, I turned it off. So let me set this down again, and uh, I'll go ahead and start it up for you. There you go. That wasn't supposed to happen, that got caught in the fence there. <laughs> So anyway guys, I'm going to put this back in the basement and thumbs up for my videos, you'll see more. Awesome. Oh by the way guys, I got an awesome